The statewide initiative launched by California Attorney General Kamala Harris offers new strategies to assist former criminals after they are released. Here to talk about what changes that could bring to the County of San Diego is San Diego District Attorney Bonnie DeManis. Welcome back. Thank you. So California has one of the highest recidivism rates in the country. Give us an idea of how many people end up back in jail after being released, or prison, I should say. It's about two-thirds of those that get released within three years are uh, returned to prison. And so the uh, Attorney General has created a division called the Recidivism Reduction and Reentry uh, Unit. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Let's talk about our plan, though. What is this division? What does it actually call for? It calls for, number one, best practices. That means finding out what really works through um, scientific approach. It also means policy, recidivism, so we define what we're talking about because there are different um, aspects to it. Technology, data-driven information is what we need so that we can tell whether this is working. And the third and really important thing for all of us DAs is finding uh, resources through grants or other monies uh, for the elected DAs. And so to get resources, that's a part that you get on your own. It's not coming from this uh, state plan. They're, the state isn't paying you, in other words. No. The, well, the state provides money for the prisoner realignment, but it's not enough money. So what she is uh, doing is because DAs are leaders in their community and haven't been included, this is to look for special funding for DA's offices who are leading in this area. I see. And coming back to the actual plan, I know you were talking about the technology. There is a, a component of it called smart justice that tracks offenders. Tell us what that is. That's going to track those that are released from prison and those that are released also from local jail, which is now prison. To, because of realignment. Because of realignment mm -hmm. to tell us when they are released and whether or not they're successful. Right now, we've had two years of realignment, and it's too early to tell anything because usually you base it on three years. So this is a way statewide to create a data system so that we're all on the same page. Um, as we're talking about this, the realignment, the prisons becoming jails and things like that, how is that impacting the recidivism rates in these past two years? Well, we've seen an increase in property crimes and drug crimes. Uh, which is w to be expected. These are lower level um, criminals now that are coming to us. They might have a bad record though, so we're following them closely. Um, but it's too early scientifically to tell, although I believe it's as a result of this realignment. But everybody is working together to try and keep San Diego safe. Now, we know San Diego County is sort of leading the pack with this plan. Tell us some of the programs that are already in place to help reduce this recidivism. Well, we are using a template from a program we developed uh, with our stakeholders for reentry. So what it does is provide seamless services from prison to the treatment facility. We have a community center transition center with probation. Actually, probation has set it up so that they get assessed that do they need substance abuse? Are they mentally ill? Do they need services there? Do they need housing? We have money set aside for that. They are then delivered directly into these resources so that they don't go back on the street to commit new crimes. And that's the 400 beds in Otay Mesa? The, no, that's, that's a uh, different center. That, this is a different center. It's I actually see. located downtown. Okay. And then um, it, this new initiative will help grow these programs? How will it change the uh, programs here? It will help w for be a repository for all 58 counties, if they have something that's working, then they will give that to the website and then we can all learn from one another and replicate it and will give us templates for forms and those kinds of things. So it's learning from one another. San Diego is on the forefront of it and they'll be taking a lot of what we have. But you know, there are 58 counties. We can't be doing the, a different thing in each county, but it depends on you know, the resources they have. And when does this begin? When does it, has it already started? She announced it uh, last uh, mm -hmm. November 20th, mm -hmm. and uh, it should be beginning in L.A. with the smart crime uh, data right away. Okay, and here we'll be getting that shortly as well. I hope so. Okay. So we have our own database, though, okay. so we're keeping track of it. All right. San Diego District Attorney Bonnie DeManis, thank you.